rigatoni is one of my favorite types of pasta. Because of its shape, it can hold so much sauce, which is packed with flavor. Today, this is my first episode of pasta, and we're going to cook with inexpensive ingredients and easy recipe, which will bring out amazing flavor. Mushroom cream sauce rigatoni. Let's do this. Okay, so let's do the vegetable cuts first. We're gonna cut onions first in small dices, so-called brunoa. Since you're going to put this in the sauce, you don't have to do a precision cut. Just try to keep all the pieces in the same size. For this recipe, I used brown mushrooms, so-called cremini. You can choose any mushroom of your choice. Wild mushroom will be the best one, will bring out the most flavor out of it. But this one will keep the recipe budget friendly. If your mushroom is small, cut them into quarters. If your mushroom is big, cut them into six pieces. It is important to cut them into bigger chunks as the size will shrink a lot during cooking. And do not toss the stems. We're still going to cook it. Just remove the bottom dirty part. Pick the thyme, and I already picked the sage, and pick your parsley, and you're gonna chiffonade parsley. Roll the leaves like a cigar and cut them into thin strips. Before you start cooking anything, mix the miso with the stock. This will help to bring out the consistent flavor in the sauce. On a hot pan with oil, you're going to shallow fry the sage. There are two purposes for this. One is frying the sage, which will be used as a garnish at the end. And number two, we're going to save this flavorful oil to cook the mushrooms. Start cooking the mushroom chunks and then add more sage oil as you move along. You have to fully brown the mushrooms to bring out the most flavor. And add onions. Cook this for one minute. Add minced garlic. And thyme. And here comes the butter to assist combining all the flavors from the ingredients. Deglaze the pan with your miso stock and then reduce it down to about a quarter of its original volume. Add heavy cream to the pan and bring the sauce up to bubbly boil. Kill the heat and then add lemon zest. Cook the pasta in salted boiling water for about 10 to 12 minutes depending on your product. When the pasta is about to be done, reheat the sauce and then add chiffonade parsley. Add your cooked pasta to the pan. Control the consistency with pasta water and you're going to simmer everything for one minute. This process will allow the time for pasta to absorb great flavors from the pan. It's finally done and I can't wait to try it. You don't need a giant pool of sauce in the bottom. Just creamy and glossy coating on the surface would be perfect. Shave some Parmigiano-Reggiano on top. And place the fried sage garnish. And finish with some freshly ground black pepper. Such a creamy texture with amazing flavor pack. Rigatoni pasta with mushroom miso cream sauce. If you enjoyed watching this video, I got more coming for you. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and notification bell. Happy cooking everybody and I'll see you in the next episode.